I think a couple of you were kind of having a hard time visualizing uh, what, how you would actually uh, solve one of these mazes by hand. So I thought it might be good if we kind of went through that. Uh, so let's just start again. You can think of this as here's the bottom level of the maze with the exit in this particular position. Here's the next layer up, here's the next layer up, here's the next layer up, and here's the top where we're going to enter at this corner. So we'll go in this first corner, we'll change it to a three to say we've already been there. We will then look around at what possibilities we have. We will go left, right, uh, up, down, and then look at the next level too. So the next level down there's a zero, there's a zero in the in this direction, off the grid in this direction, this direction. So we'll go to the next position. It's the only place we can go. We'll then say, well, we can't go uh, right, left's already been taken, down's got a zero in it, so I'm gonna have to go down to the next layer down. Change that to a three. Okay, I'll do the same thing. All around me on this layer is uh, zero, so I'm gonna go down to the next layer down. I will then say everything around me, including down, is zeros, except for going this direction in the y-axis, so I'll change that to a three. Uh, going the only place I can go after that is to the uh, next below me in the y-axis. Uh, nothing's below me there either, so I'm going to, and nothing is above me either, so I'm gonna have to go to the next layer, next uh, column. I'm going to look down below me, above me, nothing. However, I can go to the next column. Okay, at this position, I notice that there is a way to go down. I can go down to this particular position. I can't go up uh, because there is a zero in that particular place. But I can go down, change that to a three. I look around me, nothing's available on this layer. I can't go up because I've already visited that. So I'm going to go down again. I'm now going to look around me. Uh, oh, I can't go up. Down b below me, there's nothing. However, I can go to the previous row and explore that. I'll look around me. There's nothing in the previous layer. But there is something in the previous row. I go to that particular position. Uh, there's nothing available to me on this layer. However, I can go up to the, uh, to the previous layer. Nothing's around me here, but I can go up to the previous layer. <coughs> nothing's around me here, but I can go up to the previous layer. Uh, nothing's around me here, but I can go up to the previous layer. I can then go down and uh, down again, and to the left, 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 oops. Uh, then to the next row, the next row, the next layer down, the next layer down, the next layer down, the next layer down, and then across that row, and eventually I find my way out. So hopefully that'll help you to kind of spot how your algorithm should be working in going from the top uh, row in position 0, 0, 0 to the bottom layer at position uh, 4, 4, 4. Okay, hopefully that helps.